There we go. There we go. There we go. Is this it? Is this it? Number three. Hit number three. Ah, yes. Okay. Woo. One life left. It's dangerous going to get coffee. Magic Cave reopens next Thursday. Keep out. All right. That looks very important. And so does this frog. Pay 200 coins. Get a pearl. From a frog? Well, 199 coins to go. I'm just gonna keep planting trees as I continue through this deep, dark forest. Why am I planting trees? Look at all these trees in the background. They're, I mean, like, I, I get it. The more trees, the better. But, I mean, if I'm a beaver who cares about a, a lumber co, I'm just gonna chop down all the trees. Oh, look at these cool birds. Hey, girl, what are you doing? Hello, I'm eating this loaf of bread. I baked it. Oh, okay, nice. Well... Have fun in doing so. Thanks. You too with whatever you're doing. Ja, thanks. Oh boy, she totally likes me. Okay. Not really sure what to say about that, but this is Ms. Shop's Coffee Shop. There we go. This is what I want. Hello, Mom. Hello there, Mikey. I've noticed your father's sweet little lumber company has been going... not so well. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Well, not to say our family isn't successful, but there are loads of customers throwing themselves in left and right for my delicious coffee and treats. Say, I'm feeling a little extra nice today as sales have been oh so high. Let's make a deal for a free coffee to go. If you beat this minigame, I'll hand you over a free coffee to go. Sound good? Give it a try. Uh, sure. Why not? I mean, I'm getting coffee for your husband. Can't I just get it for free anyways? All right, looks simple enough. I just deliver snacks and drinks and that's it. Okay, this is not exactly what I expected. This is not at all what I expected. There you go. Here's a drink. Oh my god, it's exotic butters. Uh-oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I, I am nowhere near making it. Can I make it? No, I probably can't make it. No, no. No, I'm 30 points away! No, my free coffee! No! A few moments later. There you go! Three seconds to spare. Superb. Here you go! And I got a coffee to go. Sell your lumber five for five coins. Okay. So, that's an easier way to make money. I ordered a mixed Chiato, not a regular coffee. You really need to listen closely. How can any customer get satisfied with our work? Ugh. <sighs> Well, I've never tried one of these. You've never tried a regular coffee? It's just coffee. You must like it. Mm, I would say it was all right. I expected more of you though. But let's not talk about this incident anymore. You have important work to do. Son, we actually have a customer. A strange bird who loves rocks. He wants you to build a rock farm. It's very important for our reputation. You know, for a lumber company. For real, if you fail this, I will ground you forever. I would help, but I'm way too busy complaining over the simple things in life, like weird tasting coffee. Now go, go and make me a proud beaver. All right, so what are my plans in order to build a rock farm? I gotta get a whole bunch of rocks and a flower pot because that's a thing. Well, to get these rocks, I gotta destroy tiny little cupcake demons. Got ropes. I can get a lot of different stuff from these guys. I got an anchor. I just want some rocks, man. Petrotopy? There's a giant rock face outside. Is this a rock shop? <laughs> oh, Retrotopia, okay. Sorry, your face just threw me off for a sec. Welcome to Retrotopia, home of the best-selling video games. Choose a level and beat it to get a really nice prize. Oh, okay. I'll try a level. Level one. Let's let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay. Get get five flowers. Up. Oh, there's up. Oh, there's a rock. Up. Oh, I can I can I not get past the rock? Can I not get past the rock? Oh, flower. I missed one behind me. There you go, all five flowers. Congrats, here, take your reward. A wooden frog, fantastic. I'll worry about playing the other mini games later. I kinda wanna just get to night two. However, I can go this direction? I didn't realize this was an option. Oh, okay. Well, plant more trees as we go along, but now 
here's a, what, what is this? I was a real beaver once. <gasps> Are you chipper? Oh, just kidding, Never mind. But you can talk. Can you do me a little favor? I'm slowly melting. Would you bring me a little bit of snow? Bring me about 20 chunks and I'll reward you, of course. I'll do that, but I'm also just still trying to find rocks. Oh my God, it is windy. <gasps> All right, let's never do that again until we're ready to take on the blistering cold. Where, where, where can I find some rocks? A little longer than a few minutes later. <gasps> I got a mini rock! Only nine more to go! Two hours later. Welcome to the best item shop in town. Time to spend your coins on some rare items. Please, please, please. No, there's no mini rocks! Oh my god. There's some cool stuff in here, including a Bruce head. Oh, I need that flower pot though. Let me sell some of my coins here. There we go. Now we have enough to buy that flower pot, good sir. I'm understanding all these building options a little bit better. For everything that I create, it gives me something beneficial in return. So if I put this frog shed down, it'll increase my spawns. There we go. So hopefully now I should have more of these disgusting uh, cupcakes spawn more. Is that what that does? Six months later. Finally, that is the tenth mini rock. Thank God. Oh, now I get more mini rocks. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna sit here for an hour. For oh my God. I collected a lot of stuff, man. And I mean a lot. Like I should be set for the rest of this game. Probably not. I mean, this game is very, very grindy, and I can actually tell. That's a lie. I know there's so much more that I actually need to, uh, I need to do. So, now I have enough to build the rock farm, which I will build right here. Oh my god, thank god! Finally! Oh yeah, Sea Bill, an old family friend, wants to know you better. He's invited you to his place, the birdhouse. Oh, and I also made four of these guys, because you can never have too much lumber or death. Let me ask you guys a question. Is this similar to Chipper and Sons Co? Like how close is this game to the original Chipper game? Can I go further? Oh, I can go further. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Is, are you who I need to meet? I just don't get it. Why does nobody want to play my mini game? I spent so much time on creating it. I, I'll, I'll play your game. C-Bill. Oh, you're Playbill. Oh, I don't care about your minigame right now. Oh, is that where I need to go? You must be C-Bill. It's so nice to finally talk to you, Mike. Your father has always kept you safe in the cabin. I only met you once back when you were a fetus. Maybe a little older than that. It's a weird thing to say. I'm just... <coughs> 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 I'm sure you will meet many nice people now that you can explore freely. Yeah, your father has always had an obsession with safety, thinking the world is dangerous and whatnot. But trust me, funny things happened to him too, back when I was a young lad traveling the sea. I retired from that years ago. I own a company that's now called Sea Build Industries, TM. We build robots and ship them all over the world to murder people. You could say that in some way, sea traveling is still involved. Here is one tip from me if you want to start your own company. Don't do or make anything people are not asking for. You will only get into trouble. A few years ago, I designed special robots all by myself with the intention of making my closest friends happy. I designed them to reflect their personality and look, but it only got me into trouble. I'm not getting into detail here. I don't want to set up a rant. Just pro tip from a pro gamer to a future pro gamer. You seem like someone who would take note of that. You seem more attentive than Tyke. I'm glad that I had a chance to meet you today. Hopefully we can work this out into a good friendship. If you don't mind, I actually have a task for you. You beavers like working, right? My crab pals at the beach need a talented builder to decorate their home. They asked me, but I'm really busy uh, all the time. This is your opportunity to show me how skilled you are. There may even be a bit of multitasking required. Can you help them? That would really be neat of you. Of course, finish your pie first. No one should ever work while, uh, while, when, when they're hungry. All right, um, I'm betting that I have the materials already to build whatever you want me to. Um, 
Oh, do, do I have to ask you about what I need to build? Help out the crabs. I'll, I'll help out the crabs. What do the crabs want? We wanted to build one of our cocktail bars here, but we were simply missing the needed materials. Okay, so cocktail bar. Do I have enough for a cocktail bar? I might actually need the cocktail bar. Uh, I, I need bamboo. A palm tree over here would make a big difference. Well, I actually do have enough for, I, I got a gold acorn. Why did I, why did I get a gold acorn? Let's buy a whole bunch of bamboo. I don't remember how much I need, but might as well just clear out the stock. Oh, I got a drawing. Where did that come from? Let's build the cocktail bar. And that's all I needed to do. Thank you for your help. Thank you. You know, we could have made it without you if we still had our robot. Yes, if we had that robot. The robot that I murdered. Oh, right. You weren't there when it happened. But that's weird that no one told you about it. Yes, that's weird. Ooh, story time. Oh. A few years back, the robot industry was booming. Almost everyone got a machine to perform tasks. Seabill actually found the time to create a few robots all by himself. He gave them some sort of... A, uh, he gave some of them to his closest friends in the friend zone, which we were a part of. Alright, just Mother Crab. Our robot was called Summer Crab. She was designed to find treasure, build houses, and act as a companion. It sometimes felt as if she was alive, not like a robot at all. Oh god, I know where this is going. But we've gotten complaints. Some told us that Summer Crab was seen sneaking out and visiting other inhabitants' places. Even Chipper, Chipper called us out one day. He thought that Summer Crab was hostile. After Chipper dis disappeared, people assumed that she was responsible. We had to destroy her. We went with her to the highest cliff, saying that we needed some ice for our cocktails. <laughs> You're not telling me I'll push her off a cliff? Oh my god. We gave her a little push and that was it. <laughs> Quality sound effects. The moral of the story is that you can make cocktails even without ice. <laughs> Of course. True. Some people claim to have sighted her during last spring. That's why they started calling her Spring Crab. <sighs> really? Anyways, thanks for your help again. We will tell Seabill what a great job you did. Alright. Well, I'm assuming that I can go to night two and deal with Spring Crab. I feel like I should act very soon. Mike is going to ruin the whole thing for me. He will expose me. I can't let that happen. I have to get rid of him. That won't be too much of a problem, though. I've done similar things before. And I will continue to take care of those who find out more than they need to know. I'm a mastermind. I can't fail. I get what I want. I get what I want. Or my name isn't. Or, or my name isn't. Uh, did, <laughs> did I just have a stroke? I actually forgot my name. But anyway... I'm going to get you, Mike. I'm always ahead of you, you little brat. <laughs> okay. Hey, kiddo. Seabill went by. He seemed very happy about your visiting him today. He said that you two already built a good connection, like a nephew and his uncle. And let me tell you, he's a rich uncle. If he ever tasks us with something, we should definitely put that before anything. Who knows how much money we will make if we have him as a regular customer. Changing the topic, you will make a brand new Chipomatic 2.0 today. How does that sound? Awful! Gather all the items you need. If you can't find any, just see if you can buy them at the item shop. This is the last thing you have to do today! Thank God! I'm counting on you. Alright, Chipomat 2. That's actually not too bad. One eternity later. And build. There we go. Oh, looks like... Yeah, he's going at it! Let's go, Chipomat! Alright, I'm done. Night two, finally. What a funny day. Do you want to go to bed? Absolutely. All right, let me open the cabin up then. Tomorrow's another day where I hope nothing unexpected happens. Good night. Don't let the spring crab bite or pinch. <laughs> Click here to run to the entrance. 
Very important. If I see anything here, flash your light from the left to the right repeatedly. So, like, like that. Alright, that's a little odd, but whatever. I'm assuming this is where the crab will appear. We do have more animatronics that can show up. I am pretty worried about that spring crab, but I did just make a chipomatic 2.0. There's the 2.0. All right, he's gone. <gasps> Whoa! What are you? Oh, you're. Oh, you are this. Oh, you are the spring crab. Oh my God! You did not look like what I expected you to look like. All right, I'm. I'm hearing. I am hearing some stuff, man. Uh, oh my God! No, I'm not worried at all. I'm not freaked out. <gasps> I really don't like that look of that animatronic. Oh my god, I need more batteries. They are, they're really starting to move, even in night two. So I need to learn to be pretty quick. I'm actually not even hearing them at the window, which is bothersome. Maybe that's just because I'm talking a lot. And so maybe I should shut up. Like most FNAF games, I just, oh, I panic a little bit and then I just, I don't stop talking. All right, I think we've seen everything that we're gonna see tonight. Nothing new other than the two new animatronics, so we should be pretty good. I don't think that I'm gonna have an issue getting to the end of the night. I do feel like I'm in trouble, but if I just keep doing what I'm doing, I'm all right. I'm okay! Oh, my sleep assurance is good, and go to bed. Go to bed, there we go. I'm not worried about the animatronics that are right outside my window and the door. Wake up! Time for another day of collecting everything. Good morning, what a beautiful day it is yet again. See, Bill is our first customer. He wants you to build two things, a broken ship and a wooden bird. He will surely give you something in return, so don't keep him waiting. It might be money. Now go off into the world and, oh, what the hell? Good morning. Are you Tyke Chop? That's me! You're under arrest for sleep disturbance and theft! What? Why me? Your killer machines have been seen last night wandering around the city and breaking into houses. They were taking some precious jewelry with jewelry... Jewel... Jewelry... They took some precious diamonds with them! This can't be! I gave all the plans to my son right here! Really, Dad? You're gonna pass the blame? Maybe he sabotaged them! Since he's a minor, you would still be responsible. Since when are we talking about age? We're animals, gosh. You can't talk about yourself. Your chip chopping robots are a danger to the inhabitants and will no longer be permitted. What if I proved to you that it wasn't me? I can do that, give me a bit of time. Please don't make this difficult. Get in the police car now. <laughs> What's a car? Move it or I will take out the taser. Mike, do something. D d don't drag your son into this. <laughs> Well, what is that? You really built those machines? And you didn't see any problems in the plans? Huh. Fine. You get time until tomorrow to prove your innocence. If you can do that, if you can't do that, this company is going to get shut down and every robot is giving- is get, well, I can't speak today! Every robot is getting destroyed! Remember tomorrow, that's one day, not a day longer! Alright, goodbye! And that, son, is how you avoid the cops. But something isn't right. I really don't recall doing something illegal this time. We need to get to the bottom of this. You need to get to the bottom of this because I'm old. But since I really need some money now, go grant Seabill's wishes. If you guys want to see me play more of Tyke and Sons Lumber Co, please be sure to tell me in the comment section. Also, be sure to like the video. Well, that's it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Please click on the end cards at the end of this video. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.